we are given a number of clues here about A, B, C, and D, and asked which of the following statements must be true. In other words, it has to be true. There's no other possibility. So let's take a look at what we're given and talk about what these clues mean. When you see the word undefined, what that means is you just tried to divide something by zero. You're not allowed to do that. So this clue right here means A times D equals zero. All right. Now, the next clue is interesting. CAB equals D. Think about the possibilities here. From this first one, I've got either A equals zero or D equals zero. Or, hey, it's possible A and D both equal zero. Okay, so here's your possibilities. A not equal zero. If you take a look at that, you'll see these are the three cases we have. Either A is zero, D is zero, or they're both zero. Now, which of those possibilities would satisfy this next condition right here? C times A times B equals D. Well, if A is zero, I'm going to start with number one. If A is zero, then C times A times B is zero, which means D has to be zero. But this condition one says D is not equal to zero. So I know this condition one is actually not possible. If you take a look at condition two, D equals zero. Well, it's possible A doesn't equal zero. If C or B equals zero, that would take care of it. Um, so that might be the case. And it's also possible that if A and D are both zero, that statement in orange is true. So I've only ruled out one of my three possibilities here. And now let's move on to the fourth, or the third statement, which is that C times B is greater than one. And it might not seem that important that these are greater than one, but think about this. If C is zero, this can't be true. If B is zero, that can't be true. So what the statement says is that C and B are both non-zero. And if C and B are non-zero, that means A has to be zero from the orange statement, right? If C and B were not zero, that means if D is zero, A must be zero. Okay, so that's how we kind of logic our way through this to get to this third statement. A equals D equals zero. That's what these three clues are all about telling us. So let's uh, see which of the following statements must be true. A plus B equals zero? No, not necessarily. Remember, B could be, B could be uh, five. Well, who knows what B is? How about C is greater than one and B is greater than one? Yeah, that could be true. So that's maybe true, but it doesn't necessarily have to be true. A plus D equals zero? Ah, that one, that has to be true because A and D are both themselves zero. And if you look at these other conditions here, some of them are just outright false. Some of them are maybes again. B times D, for example, that's false because I know D is zero. And C equals zero or B equals zero? Yeah. Um, actually, no. No, that's totally false because we know that if you times them together, it's equal to a non-zero number. So we've got a maybe in here. That's distracting. And one condition that has to be true no matter what. But this is a, this is a big logic exercise. First of all, in understanding what undefined means, but then understanding how things multiply to be zero.